Hello, my name is Jose and I am Cloud Support Engineer here at AWS Office in Dublin. Today I'm going to show you how to use the PG Audit extension to audit my Amazon Relational Database Service DB instance that is running PostgreSQL. Let's get started. There are different parameters that you can set to log activity on your PostgreSQL DB instance. To audit different databases, roles, tables, or columns, you can use the PG Audit extension. After you enable the PG Audit extension, you can configure the PG Audit.log parameter to audit a specific databases, roles, tables, and columns. Here's how to enable the PG Audit extension on an Amazon RDS instance running PostgreSQL. Create a specific database role called RDS underscore PG Audit by running the following command. Modify the DB parameter group that is associated with your DB instance to use the shared libraries that contain PG Audit and set the parameter PG Audit dot role. Then set the PG Audit dot role to the role that you created. RDS underscore PG Audit. Reboot the instance so that the changes to the parameter group are applied to the instance. Confirm that PG Audit is initialized by running the following command. Create the PG Audit extension by running the following command. Confirm that PG Audit dot role is set to RDS PG Audit by running the following command. Configure the PG Audit dot log parameter to audit any of the following. All audits all the commands. MISC set audits miscellaneous set commands, such as set role. MISC audits miscellaneous commands, such as discard, fetch, checkpoint, vacuum, and set. DDL audits all data description language that is not included in the role class. Role audits statements related to roles and privilege, such as grant, revoke, create, alter, and drop row. Function audits function calls and do blocks. Write audits insert, update, delete, truncate, and copy when the destination is a relation. Read audits select and copy when the source is a relation or a query. Depending on what you want to audit, Set the value of the pgaudit.log parameter for a database, role, or table. Using the pgaudit extension to audit databases. To set the value of pgaudit.log parameter for a database, role, or table, set the parameter pgaudit.log to none at the parameter group level. Run the following command to override the system configuration for this parameter at this database only. This changes the value of parameter pgaudit.log to all, so that test 
database is the only database that is audited in the RDS database instance. Connect to test database and run the following query. The output of the error log is similar to the following. Using the PG Audit extension to audit roles, similarly to configuring the PG Audit.log parameter at the database level, the role is modified to have a different value for the PG Audit.log parameter. In the following example commands, the roles test1 and test2 are altered to have different pgaudit.log configurations. Set different values for the pgaudit.log parameter for test1 and test2 by running the following commands. Check that the modifications are made at the role level by running the following query. Run the following queries for both test1 and test2. The log output is similar to the following for test 1. The log output is similar to the following for test 2 after running the same queries. Note, there is no audit entry for the select query because the pgaudit.log parameter for test 2 is configured to DDL only. Using the pgaudit extension to audit tables. Configuring the pgaudit.log parameter audits and logs statements that affect a specific relation. Only select, insert, update, and delete commands can be logged by the pgaudit extension. Truncate isn't included in the object audit login. If you grant the RDS pgaudit role access to an operation, such as select, delete, insert, or update on the table that you want to audit, any grant audit logs the corresponding statement. The following example grants the RDS PG audit role access to select and delete, so that all the select and delete statements on test table are audited. Grant the RDS PG audit role access to select and delete by running the following command. Test that the audit login is configured correctly by running a delete statement on test table. The output for the delete statement is similar to the following. Using the PG Audit extension to audit columns. You can also set the auditing at a column level for a specific table. For example, when sensitive data exists in one column only. In the following example command, a payroll table is created and the table has a sensitive column that includes salary data that must be audited. Grant the RDS PG audit role access to select on the salary column so that any select on this column is audited. Select all the columns in the table, including the salary column. In the following example output, any select that includes the salary column is audited. However, 
A select that doesn't contain the salary column is not audited. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.